when the budget call started, I came to the conclusion that it was the man, the scientist, that needed Colin, not the badger. And I've written this poem. It's called Chain Reaction. Scientists are learned men, intelligent and wise, solving problems known to man. Do they not realise? While well, they look neither left nor right, tunnel vision blinds their sight. They cure some things, others blight. Yet think they've won the prize. Insecticides and pesticides, post war to save our crops. Production's bound to soar, they said, but there it doesn't stop. The fields are green, the weeds all die. These herbs on which creatures rely all gone for now, just grass, that's why. Without the herbs, their health will drop. For many years the creatures ate the roots of vegetation. It was nature's way of healing them, their immunisation. Their immune system weakens now with each new generation. There's nothing to replace that loss, though later on we'll count the cost. The scientists don't give a toss, relying, as they always do, upon their reputation. Move forward 30 years or so to 1986. TB in cows is prominent, it's something we must fix. The scientists say we must kill each animal that's fallen ill. Some farmers soon will leave and will no longer take the kicks. Each year TB is getting worse since it came on the scene. We'll have to start a badger call in 2015. Of course they blame the badger now. Shoot them, kill them, anyhow. Cost? Don't think about that now until no badgers can be seen. Life is made of building blocks where all things live forever. Each insect, animal or man are holding life together. If we lose one, we are in trouble. Our lives will burst just like a bubble. Our building blocks, a heap of rubble. Life will be gone forever. Support the National Wildlife Trust. Try to reverse the trend. Don't destroy the flora or fauna. Try to be its friend. Do the things we all should do. Then I know that this is true. You will find your whole life through a better life until the end.